surrounding an ex-UNC student linked to a deadly DWI accident in Orange County. Good morning. I'm Mike Gonzalez. And I'm Stephan Chase. Three people were killed at a wrong way crash, including a six-year-old girl. WNCN's Emma Wright joins us now live in Hillsboro. Emma, what happened today? Chandler Kenya came to court with his parents and his lawyer this morning. He was indicted on 13 charges in late September, and this morning his case was continued. Now, the last time we saw Chandler Kenya, he was in a wheelchair. Today he was up and walking on crutches, although he did not appear to be moving easily. The district attorney asked for his case to be continued because they're waiting for a highway patrol report to be completed in December. Police say 20 year old Kenya went drinking with friends at several Chapel Hill bars on July 19th. The same night, they say he drove the wrong way on I-85 and crashed head-on into another car, killing three people, including a six-year-old girl. Kenya's lawyer talked with us shortly after the court appearance and says he feels very badly about what happened. He's, he's struggling every day with what's happened here and just struggles with um, his thoughts about the families, the victims' families here, and his, his prayers go out to him. But he's struggling every day with this. Because that case was continued, Chandler Kenya is scheduled to appear in court again on January 12th. Reporting live this morning in Hillsboro, I'm Emma Wright, WNCN News. Emma, thank you. WNC Investigates is also looking into a number of lawsuits filed in connection with the Kenya case. Family members of the victims have filed three lawsuits since the July accident. Wayne King, the husband of Felicia Harris, is suing Kenya and his parents. King is also named La Residence Restaurant and He's Not Here bar in that lawsuit. The the mother of six-year-old Janice Beard and the daughter of Darlene McGee have filed similar lawsuits.